hi guys my name is star and this is skin is with star and today i'll be talking about skin types yes because it dawned on me that a lot of women really do not know their skin types yeah do you know your skin type and again towards the end of this video you're going to see that um some women sent in their responses while i also went into um the streets of lagos to ask people if they know their skin types and some of the responses i got my god they were hilarious like someone said her skin type is economical some another lady said her skin type was yellow and hey <laughs> i thought to do this video <laughs> there's a yellow skin type right there so watch this till the end to learn about your skin type i'm sure you're going to learn a thing or two yeah please don't go nowhere i'll be right back after this very short break so let's dive in into the video to talk about skin types um some authors would say that they have four skin types some five some have said three but we're going to be talking about four the four major skin types the number one is the normal skin type normal skin type has the characteristics of everything being normal the um sebum you sweat regularly there's nothing in excess your skin is smooth to the touch when you touch it there's no it's not rough now when i'm talking about the skin i should um skin types i should also mention that the facial skin and the skin on the body most times the skin types are not the same most people have um different skin types on their face and on their body so but for this video i would focus on the skin type on the face so the skin types on the face there's a normal skin type when you touch your skin it is very smooth yeah while your pores are tiny everything that should be happening is happening you don't break out no white heads no black heads everything is just normal and um, one thing about normal skin type is that they do not really break out as such because oil would contribute to how fast your clog your pore would clog so a lot of people that have normal skin type most times do not break out yeah while the next skin type i'll be talking about is the oily skin oily skin you know we have sebum on our skin oily skin produces a lot of sebum while for that of the normal skin the sebum production is just accurate it's just normal or what you need is what you get but for those with oily skin the sebum produces too much of sebum that they can handle and in skin like that they break out a lot more often because there are different categories different things contribute to having acne one of them is oil production you know the skin has bacteria or everybody has bacteria on the skin whichever skin type you have but the bacteria is just chilling it's not doing anything it's not like very wicked like that it's not there to harm you but if the bacteria is mixed with dirt sweat sebum and all of that then it can produce acne but um for those that have normal skin that's why they don't really have lots and lots of acne that if they have at all but those with oily skin they tend to break out a lot more because the oil is mixed with dead skin cell and is also mixed with the bacteria that was chilling on its own that's why it's recommended that if you have oily skin exfoliate as often as you can the next skin type i'll be talking about is the dry skin for those with dry skin they do not have enough moisture enough oil to sustain the skin so in that case you need external um, products you need leave-on products to help your skin stay moisturized for longer yeah that's why most people with dry skin it's recommended that they use products with deep moisture like rich moisture otherwise your skin would be tart you know dry skin is also associated with um aging so most people that have gotten to a certain age they have drier skin because the sebum production reduces the uh, moisture content on the skin reduces that's why elderly people or older people have drier skin and if your skin is dry it it makes the skin look older than it should look so that's why it's recommended to use products 
that are very very rich in moisture the next i'll be talking about is the combination skin for a lot of people on their face they have combination skin you see some people on their t-zone this part of the face is called the t-zone the t-zone um the forehead would be oily the chin area would be dry the, the cheek would be dry the chin would be oily the nose would be oily another part would be dry would be normal so a lot of people have combination skin on their face and that's why you see some people use more than one facial mask or more than one facial product you see them using a particular product on the forehead another one on this part you know sometimes it can be tiring but it's also recommended but some manufacturers manufacturers now make products for all skin types they just put every skin into consideration and say okay i know you have oily skin so i'm going to reduce the oil content i know you have dry skin so i'm going to put another ingredient to help with to help lock in moisture yeah that's how um all skin type products are made and for the oil content it will just be regular normal while it will be rich in moisture remember that oil and moisture are not the same so the water content and the oil content will just I, I'm not teaching formulation here, but that's basically how we formulate skincare products for all skin types because we really cannot start making products. Well, not every brand can at, at the level they're at. So it's also important that you use products that are fit for your skin type. I talked about briefly about um, dry skin and it being associated with aging skin yeah that's why in aging anti-aging products it's always has ingredients that are rich in moisture because aging skin is associated with dryness like i said earlier i went into lagos to ask people if they know their skin type so here what some people said about the question do you know your skin type my skin type um on my face oily skin on my body combination skin i'm not even sure but i know that my face is oily that's the only thing i know i have a friendly affordable and beautiful skin type okay so hi star i do not know about skin types in fact i'm just hearing that for the first time and that only means i don't even know what my skin type is so i guess you would have to lecture us on that i think i have an oily slash let me see combination skin type but touching my nose now i can actually feel the oil okay no i don't know my skin type 